Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to part 3 of my let's play of Tales of Majijal. Today we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, we are level 6 already and uh, we're gonna do some easy dungeons uh, such as like there's all these beginning dungeons such as the scintillating caves that we just did but there's also the Raloran camp and Norgus lair, heart of gloom, trollmire, I think core pool if I remember correctly. Um, so I think Raloran camp is actually somewhere here. Oh it's actually there. Uh, yes Raloran camp. So we go into there and kill things. Uh, we did become level 6 last time, I didn't look at that yet. Uh, so let's put in some points in more bone armor. Always nice to have. And we have more class points. What do we need to unlock this? Ma magic 28 and level 8. We're not level 28 yet. So some more... Magic anyway, yay! Hmm, 0 0.3. It's not that great. Yet. Um, bit of constitution, just to be sure. Uh, still not sure whether I should put points into there or not. I'm waiting till I can get uh, level 10 so then I can unlock um, Wildfire and start putting points into there. So I might just keep waiting for a bit. Alright, what's here in the Raloran camp? Um, enemies, mostly. Nope, he's shooting at me. Shield and shoot back. Let's see. So when the uh, auto explorer stops, there is normally it, it also says why it's stopping, even though I put this. Uh, there. It says why it's stopping, but um, even if you don't see an enemy, like if you just press an ability, an attacking ability, it will auto-aim there, so that's always good. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Open all the houses. There's no one's home anyway. Oh, another one. Let's put an arcane eye again. Uh, level 11, I'm level 6. Uh, I'm gonna put on my bone armor, 293 damage out of... Oh, that's actually almost twice my life, which is good. So I'm gonna put that on. Last for 10 turns, I think. Yeah, 10 turns, that's a lot. So... Yes, please. And use my flame. Oh, they're almost dead. I'm gonna use my... So this one should be burning. Yeah, it's burning. So it'd probably be dead next turn because it only has 5 HP left. So I'm going to shoot at this one. There, that worked. And now I just have to... Maybe I can use Heat Beam. Why not? And there. All dead. And next level. Got a lot of stuff. Mana Search. I don't remember what we had, so why not? Teleportation rune, biting gale, uh, chilling storm wind. Nah, we can't choose the infusions. And oh, my cat needs a bit of attention, so I'm gonna pause it here. All right, a happy cat next to me now, uh, so I can, can continue with one hand. Let's see. So we have mana surge. Uh, yes, let's... Oh, wait. Ah, there. Copper Armillet doesn't do anything. Copper Ring doesn't do anything. Mm. This is worse than what I have. This one has more spell power and more critical. But less saves. No saves, actually. But, well, it actually has a fair amount of extra spe spell power and critical. So, I'm gonna try that. Maybe it's this one... Nah, I'm just gonna try this one. And then... That's it, alright. Then I just need to command that stuff. Oh, in three turns. First need to kill some animals. Here's a rare. But I have a beam, so I can target them both. Oh, and I'm... Wow. Shield. Arcane on this guy to kill him. Because this one is a bit harder to kill. 
Ooh. Uh, oh. Cat is looking at the cursor. <laughs> it's a very interesting cursor. Uh, let's see what to do, what to do. I might use face door actually. Or I could go to the ne other level. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna run back. And heal up. Still fairly squishy. Alright, so shield again. Uh, flame on this this dude. Arcane on that dude. And I'm just gonna try and hit him. And I'm gonna put on my bone armor. And we are stunned. Mm. Random detrimental physical effect. Stunning is a physical effect. So we can sh get rid of that by heat beam. Minus stunned. Perfect. Because otherwise my talents don't go off cooldown and that's very annoying. There. Now I just smacked him in the face. That helped. There. Still alive. Alright, so just by going back <laughs> with going back to the previous level as well as getting rid of my stun, uh, I managed to survive this part. That's good. So it's already getting more interesting. Mm. But yeah, mages tend to be a big problem. Ooh, look at this here. Uh, shield on. Now the power of the beam will be seen. Let's see there. Target four creatures. And they died. There's another mage here, which I'm not too happy about. I'm just gonna target him. And... Walk on back. And use another flame beam here. There, you just get rid of so many enemies once it's a beam, it's perfect. Uh, oh, ooh, look at that. It's a unique Zguizel, the skeleton. Um, well, he just seems dangerous, but I'm gonna put on my bone armor and then use my beam. There! He's killed! Hmm. Just gonna kill all the rest of these things and collect all the loot. So many creatures here! I'm level 8 already. Yay! That's nice. Then I can get my fire flash, which is perfect. So I can start killing myself by accidentally pressing that button because it does this humongous AoE. Uh, you'll see that in a bit. Um, reducing the duration of all detrimental effects on you by 11%. That sounds perfect. Sounds like something I want to have. And the heal does 215. That's basically my entire life already, so I don't need to put more levels into this. Teleport. Teleport you randomly within a large range, 130, with a minimum range of 15. That sounds like a perfect escape. It could teleport me into even more dangerous things, but, well, if you need a last way out, that's, well, the best you can do, right? Arcane Vortex. I've never actually tried this one. Creates a vortex of arcane energies on the target for six turns. Each turn the vortex will look for another foe in sight and fire a mana thrust, which is this one. Uh, doing 15 arcane damage to all foes in line. That's not a lot at all. But, well, uh, if the target dies, the vortex explodes, releasing all remaining damage in a radius 2 ball of arcane force. Huh. Interesting. Let's put a point into it and see what happens. Right, now we've got a lot of stats left, so we're gonna take some more magic. How much does this one need? Ah, needs another level. I'm gonna take a bit more constitution, more willpower. No, a bit. There. Alright, so now we are talking. Let's see how fast we die with access to a big nuke. Not used to that at all. No one home. There's a worm living there, or snake. Here's worms, green worms. Build a house for themselves. And 
Previous level. Uh, next level. Alright, what's this? It is a ring. And it gives us more will, more resistances, more mental save. Yeah, I like these for the moment. Even though it's a it's a rare one. Um uh, do, 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 nothing really interesting here either. Oh maybe this one. Stun freeze immunity 20 per 20%, that's always good. Like stunning is so damn annoying. I might actually take that one even though I get less resistances. Just to get some more stun resistance. Ooh, dangerous. Alright, uh, shield. Aoe? No, I'm gonna be in it. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Let's kill the mage first. Mages are stupid. Except for me. And, alright, uh, there is a whatever it is, a white jelly. Ooh, here's a unique one. Uh, it's a rare gesture of pain called shadow. So I have no idea what those things do. If you know, please leave it in the comments. Always good to know. Um, and I will put on a shield and then I'll flame this bastard. And I can... Oh, yes, here. Now I'm not in the AOE myself. Yay. Um, this thing does have a travel time though. It has a travel speed of 400% of base, so it's fairly fast. I can actually fire one so you can see it. There. So one turn, and then the next turn it'll arrive. So um, be careful, it's not instantaneous. Kill all the things. Mm -mm. Um, I'm recording these first three episodes all in the same night, so I'm only now thinking about that I might um, fast forward some bits that is just kind of randomly walking. Oh, my phone is almost out of battery. Um, randomly walking around uh, and killing things that might not be so much fun to look at, so it kind of keeps the. Um, keeps it fairly short. Uh, let's see, put on a shield. Although then I of course have to look at whenever I'm talking and be careful not to delete important bits, if I ever say anything important. So, ooh, there's the boss, the Raloran Inquisitor. He is not killed by me. <laughs> killed by you, zero. Um, so it seems that I've never actually really done this Raloran camp yet. Uh, let's see... Put on a shield, first of all. How much does this? That's not too much damage, it's really just for AoE. So I might try this one just to have the chance to stun him. And then set him on fire. And then my shield is already gone so I put on the other shield. And he still has 78% health left. My mana is still fine, and oh, we can try this arcane vortex thing. Creates a vortex that is shooting things. Is it on the enemy? Ah, yes. All right, yay! Does it only shoot at others? It will look for another foe inside, so you turn him, him into an AoE machine, so this didn't really do anything. That might be useful, but I guess I already have like a really good AoE spell probably, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to use it. Might be fun experimenting with it though. Let's put it on there. Maybe there's more enemies around. You can actually see that with Arcane Eye. Nothing. Did that actually do damage to him? So now he's got 83. Ah, see, it does do damage. Alright, that makes it more interesting. Ooh, let's level up first before we open the chest. 
Uh, let's see, what do we put? Displacement shield. Ah, this is quite fun. Um, you put the shield on someone else, and then you basically get linked. And every time I get hit, there's a 46% damage that the shield will, that the damage I get will be warped to the target. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna take that, and then I'm going to put more power into my fire flash because more AOE damage is always good in this game. And let's see. I need to get level 10, then I can put my points into wildfire. Uh, I'm gonna take some more magic. Alright. Open the chest. Ooh, a rare. Precise strikes, that's probably bad for me, so I'm gonna put on a shield, and then I am going to set him aflame, and put some arcane forces on him. And a vortex. And more flame. I wonder if I get damage if he explodes as well. Um. All right. So let's see. What do we have? Nil skin armor. It gives fatigue. I don't want fatigue. Even though two percent fatigue depends on what it gives. Uh, poison immunity already. And poison immune. Some more dex. Yeah, it's not really worth. It, I would say, I've got a normal iron pickaxe. This one gives armor penetration. I don't need that. Uh, it's actually worse because this one at least gives one strength, but this one gives armor penetration, which I hope I don't do. Like you actually need to hit people for that. Um, I still don't have any boots. Look at that. Uh, arcane forces. Spell power plus three. Physical save. Maximum encumbrance higher, that's always nice. Can carry more stuff with it. Armor defense. This one has spell power, but it also has fatigue. I'm gonna go with this one. Might not be the best idea, but oh well. Um alright. I haven't looked at my runes for a long time. Uh, see what I had. I had a rune of shielding of 130 and mana surge of 639. 660 is already better. Use. Oh, I counted it on the world map, of course. Uh, let's go into the city. See if they have better runes or infusions. There. If you press shift, you run uh, until you find something interesting to one side. Like, uh, let's see. No, no interesting shops. All right. The alchemist quest. So basically, you get a quest to gather ingredients by different alchemists, and you can choose which base potions you want. Uh, permanently increase magic and willpower by three. That's pretty good. Saving throws by four. Also good. Four additional stat points. Oh, this is better than four additional stat points. Um, saving throws by four. Hard to say. I'm just gonna go the easy way and, and take the stats. Hmm... I don't tend to calculate everything um, in in detail. I tend to play it by feeling. I, I play all the games like I play board games like that. I play computer games like that. I don't like to sit around and, and calculate everything for for many hours. And so yeah, it's a uh, it probably reduces my chance to win a little bit. But that's how I like to play. And here might be something interesting. No, doesn't really have anything. No, all right. Well, I'm just gonna sell these. Oh, we can use this one now. Is that better now? It gives us extra spell crit chance. Not a lot. It gives us less spell power. Uh, and for the rest, is actually also worse than. Nah, I don't want it. Gives us a lot of different damages, but. Alright, I am going to go quickly to another dungeon.
I want to go to Trollmire because there's a fun boss there. Ooh, been ambushed. Uh, shield. Fire. Fireball. Oh, I am stunned. No, I'm brain locked. And confused and all those bad things. There, fireball on their head for confusing me. There, survived. Yay! Dagger of the Past. Nah, not for this one. Uh, Alright, getting some monies. I want to go to Trollmire. Is it this one? Or is it Old Forest? Uh, this one. Yes! I like the end boss in this. Uh, so, in this game, if you're once you're fairly high level, it'll just um, teleport you to the... Um, to the last area of, of this area uh, so that you don't have to kill all those enemies that are too easy for you so you can just troll through it and ooh, actually we get a uh, escort quest escort quest sure I want that so now I have to be careful with oh stay <laughs> see now now it's getting annoying because now um, there's all these trees and they block line of sight and before you know it you lose <laughs> uh, your escort. It's super annoying. See, now they're already getting killed. Oh, don't die. Please. She might die. Come on. You're so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna ask her where the portal is. Close to the northeast. All right. Uh, I don't have a heal for her, right? Or a shield or something like that. Nah. Kill. These quests I always. Try to take slow because I do like the bonuses that ooh. I've had it sometimes that they just die on like the last moment. It's so frustrating. Yay! We made it. Bathe in light. This is nice. It um, heals and shields all within a radius of two for 14 per turn and increase healing effects on everyone by 7%. It's not amazing but hey um, effect lasts for three turns existing damage shields will be added to instead of overwritten and have their duration set to two so basically I can even make my bone shield last a bit longer um, so that's super nice healing lights heals me uh, 109 life takes a turn though this one is also one turn um, or I can just say I want to learn Celestial Light at Mastery 0.8, but I don't think I'll do that. Um, I have to now choose between a direct heal that takes a turn, or um, basically taking a shield. Uh, the amount healed will increase with the magic stat. That's good, because I'm going to get a lot of magic. I think I might go for this, because it's both healing and uh, it's kind of like regeneration. It, it, it heals me per turn, and I like that, because I don't have access to any regeneration. So, bathe in light it is. Alright, that's cool. I think on my Doombringer I got super lucky, and I got that one two or three times, and, well, basically I could just... It was really nice to have like all these Sun Paladin skills on a Doombringer. Uh, I think I got it twice, probably. Oh, shield. Is this? Oh, that's Shax. Shax the Slimy. Um, he's fairly powerful. Mm. So now I learned about that big troll with the hidden treasure quest. 
Um, and yeah, so he's fairly dangerous and often it's advised to, if you're gonna kill clear Trollmire, to come back a bit later. Uh, I always tend to risk it anyway, because I'm stupid, as I said. Oh, look at this here. 36 health only. Uh, oh, and I'm confused. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna heal myself. Wow, okay, so I might need a bit more defenses, because that was fairly dangerous. Um, I could, in a sense, put this one on autocast if I wanted to. Autocast when enemies are available or visible, because, well, it's an instantaneous thing. Uh, it's not sure if I should do that. It is fairly good, but it also has a pretty long cooldown, and I don't think I want to risk it to accidentally have it when I don't want to have it. Traces of blood are everywhere. Yes, let's do it anyway. I don't want a dagger. I might want this one. Get less resistances, less darkness damage. But I get more mana per turn, more spell power and more spell crit chance. Yes, please. And... Mm, yeah, it's, it's a little bit better. It gives me some nature resistance, why not? Eye of the Dreaming One. It, more willpower, more mental save, more mind power. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna be asleep and I can act while sleeping which is nice uh, and I can sleep other people I'm gonna take that one mm. nah. okay that's cool so now I can put people to sleep that's never bad so the dude is hanging around after this together with some other enemies like this stone troll here. Oh, I can't. I can only hit this one. Uh, and I think he has charge, so I'm just gonna put on a shield already. I've already got access to two shields, so in that sense, I don't have to be too careful. I'm just gonna put a fireball in there. See what happens. Oh, I hear something. There he is. All right, big, brawny, powerful, and with a taste for halfling, build a stone troll. I'm gonna put on my bone armor. Last ten turns, and this fight is not gonna last ten turns. So, there, put a fireball in his face, and some arcane, and some more fire, and yeah, he's almost dead. There we go. Level 10! Woo! Alright, so now we are level 10. That means we get a category point. Category points you can use for several things. You can either learn a new um, tree, for example, like learn the survival tree or the meta tree or the wildfire tree. You can uh, increase the efficiency of your current tree. So if I click on this, then um, all these spells do more damage. So I can use it for that. Or I can increase my encryption slots. So at the moment I can use three runes and that would mean I could use four runes. However, I am going to use the wildfire slot. And there, so now I can use wildfire spells. So as you can see, if I would click this, this would actually be 1.5. So this fire now does 193 damage and then it would do 207 damage. So you can just uh, increase the efficiency, it's kind of cool. Uh, and it makes a lot of choices possible as well. I like that. Um, but I'm gonna put it on this blast wave. A wave of fire emanates from you within a radius of two, knocking back anything caught inside, which is awesome because I don't want to be in melee, and setting them ablaze, giving them fire damage. Perfect. I want that. I also want to have this one more powerful, and I want to have. Two, two, two. A little bit more bone armor. No, I don't have any points for that. I am still going to save up these points, I think. I'm not sure if I should point, put points into this mana thrust. It's also kind of nice if it's a beam. Mm, I'm going to read this, uh, all these 
spell descriptions after this and check if I want a special tree or not, otherwise I'm just gonna put it into Arcane. Um, in the meantime I am going to put some more into Constitution and a bit in Magic. Yes, please. Collect all these things. Go back. Bill's tree trunk I don't need. Uh, No, I think that's it. All right, so I can just oh, actually, you can just use the rod of recall. There. Now we're back in the world map. So I think I'm just going to re uh, slowly read my skills and decide on which trees I want, uh, and put the video to an end here. So I hope you had fun and hope to see you next time.